Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Uh, now I'm in Australia and I wanted to show you um, a thing, a thing, a bit of a needle box that I bought. Um, now I bought one uh, a few weeks ago and I really, really liked it. And I talked to Elaine one day because she's, or, you know, about different things that I've gotten. And, um, I found these, well I found this because I thought it'd be really good and this is broken, <laughs> mine's broken now, anyway I should probably not undo it until I take it back and fix it, change it, but, oh I will, it's not my fault it's broken as theirs isn't it, where's that bit, is it inside there, it is too, actually this is a really good thing, okay, <laughs> a really good thing, but that's, really broken there isn't it that's a shame you know what i might get some e6000 and not worry about taking them back because it it still works still closes oh, i don't know better because look at this this is bad oh <laughs> anyway the thing itself i thought was absolutely amazing loved it it's a magnetic needle case you buy them at big w it cost me three dollars fifty and I could have said, I was going to say Swan, and I only paid $2.90 something for the last one I bought. And it wasn't all broken, but I'll be taking this back. And I go up Saturday and they can change it for me because it's not good. I can stick it back in there, can't I? Because it wasn't, I didn't break it. It was like this when I got it home. But anyway, um, really good. Look at that. It comes with a couple of needles, but it, they sit in there and then you can close it up. Like so. And you've got them captured, right? And they don't move about or anything. I've got pin cushions, multiple pin cushions, and a lot of the time your needle will disappear down into it or whatever, and or you can't find it for the. Um, I find it. I'd rather have. I bought another one because I wanted one for bead needles and one for ordinary needles, like for embroidery ones. But then I can just might even go and get a couple more just to put different other si sizes of needles in it because um, it's just. Uh, a good handy thing to have and it's not really that expensive because it shouldn't be broken when I, if you buy yours make sure you, it's not got that big piece missing out of it won't you but I thought that'd be just the thing people that do um, cross stitch and that uh, uh, all the time and other sort of embroidery it's a good thing to have handy isn't it just like just to have your needle sitting there and even if you wanted to you could th have them threaded up you know so all you've got to do is just pick up the next one and go you see but anyhow, so thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> I'm sort of promoting something that's really crap, aren't I? <laughs> well, it wasn't. The other one wasn't either. You know what? i got a feeling that this is not the same sort of cover that was on the other packet. That's really strange. But anyway, we'll um, we'll take it back and say, here you are. You people can have this and I'll have a better one, please. Because they will do that. They're pretty good. Um, they will change it for me, so because they well they're obliged to anyway it was broken before i opened it and i showed that on a video so i've got proof haven't i i opened the bag and it was broke it all broke <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching and that was a bit of a shame well it, w it couldn't have got broken any other way than it must have been before they even put it in the case because it's surrounded by this pretty heavy good plasticky stuff I didn't break it. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you like my needle book. Look at Case thingy. I think he's really cool. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>